an extension on the U.S. debt ceiling till April or May. The Dow and S&P 500 are up more than 5% from January. Will the outperformance continue? Well, first to the debt ceiling. The debt ceiling has been suspended until May 19th. So essentially at the moment, for all intents and purposes, the United States of America does not have a debt ceiling. Uh, I'm not sure whether this has a big impact on the markets because, we, as we have seen, politicians always find ways to uh, kick the can down the road. So the markets are not terribly um, preoccupied with the debt ceiling right now. What drives markets right now, and that's the major driver, are central banks. Uh, it's quantitative easing by the Fed, by the ECB now, or which is coming on uh, Japan. So that's what's driving uh, equity prices. And central banks have essentially put the floor under equities, uh, which we think uh, will lead to higher prices a little bit in, in the next few months. What are your expectations from the India budget on growth deficit and inflation? Well, I think there are concerns by some analysts that the uh, Congress party will come up with a very populist budget uh, like they did in 2009 before the election um, uh, you know that maybe they they throw economic rationality overboard because of election politics we are not as pessimistic we don't think there will be uh, any negative surprises because it, it appears that uh, you know apart from from certain subsidies uh, they will probably not block an increase in the price of diesel uh, railway fares or, or natural gas prices so we don't think uh, the fears of a, uh, a populist budget, overly populist budgets are well founded. What is your outlook on crude oil given the supply concerns highlighted by OPEC? Well, crude is driven by several factors. One, uh, of course, has to do with demand and supply. Uh, with China starting to recover again uh, this year, we we'll probably see an increase in, in demand for oil. Uh, supply disruptions, we, we, we don't see that many actually, uh, okay there has been a bit of uh, supply disruption from the North Sea. The political side in the Middle East remains uh, relatively murky but it's, not, it's probably not going to be a big factor either. Again, one of the biggest factors will be central bank QE. You have a, a drive into riskier assets, into real assets, uh, some tangible assets and I think that's the reason why crude has been rallying over the past few months. And, uh, you know, it could be a pullback like we could see in the equity market, but uh, probably the flight into real assets will continue to support crude.